So using Audacity is the uh, first thing we'll be looking at today besides installation. Um, the uses uh, for Audacity, well, there's many, but two primary ones. One is to record sound files and the other is to edit them or play them back. So let's first open a sound file and see what we can do with it. Uh, to do so, you first want to go to File, and then you want to go to Open. Um, let's see. Basically, here you'll want to navigate to a sound file you're interested in editing or playing back, and then select it. Uh, I'm going to open a recording of some data that I have uh, from Shitsonga. So I'm going to open this. This might be similar to the kind of thing, the kind of recordings that you make in linguistics, which is just a long recording of elicitations. So having someone say words over and over again. Um, it's a, quite a long file, around 38 minutes, but Audacity has no problem opening, editing, and playing back these kind of files, which is great. Um, after you've waited for it to load, um, here I've got it loaded already. What you're going to look at is, or sorry, what you're going to see is this waveform. So this is a waveform of the entire recording displayed at once. We can anywhere on this waveform click um, to move our cursor. You can see this uh, vertical line here. It shows where in the recording our cursor is at. And then you can click, uh, you can press the spacebar key, and it will start playing the audio file from that point forward. Only let the book. So you can see that when we pressed spacebar, it started playing the file. And to stop it, I just press spacebar again. You also have uh, these buttons up here to do the same function. So I can press the green button to play back the sound. And I can press the stop button to stop the sound. So that is this green playback button and this uh, black square is the stop button. Uh, you also have these buttons called skip to start and skip to end. So if you've clicked somewhere in your audio recording, you can actually skip to the very end or the very front by using these two buttons here. So skip to start obviously brings your cursor to the very front of the file and then skip to end moves it to the very end of the file. That might be useful in editing. We've also got multiple buttons for zooming into locations in the sound file. So the one on the left zooms in and the one on the right uh, zooms out from the point you selected in the audio file. So I'm going to select around 10 minutes into the audio file. And as I said, I'm going to click this, uh, this button on the left, zoom in, and it should zoom in towards this uh, 10 minute mark where I've selected. So the more I click it, the more it should zoom in and the more the waveform should become bigger and bigger so that we can see the individual words. So let's say I want to play these three words. I can actually click and drag to select them. And then I can press space. <laughs> so the playback started when I pressed spacebar and it ended when I got to the final uh, point of my selection. So just to repeat that, if I wanted to play these three sounds in the beginning, I could click and drag and select them all I let go of the mouse button, and now if I press space, it will play just the selection that I've highlighted. Great, so let's uh, zoom back out to the entire recording. I'm going to just place my selection somewhere, it doesn't matter where, and then I'm going to click zoom out. We'll press it multiple times until we see the whole recording again. Awesome. So we can see that across the entire width of the screen. We can see the beginning starting at zero all the way to the around 38 and a half minute mark, which is our entire recording. So uh, just a minute ago, I mentioned uh, making a selection of the audio recording, clicking and dragging and letting go of the left mouse button to create a selection. What you can do with these selections is zoom into them, which is quite uh, useful. So if I click this button, fit selection to width, it will actually magnify the selection that I made and fill it into the entire uh, width of the screen. So now this selection uh, fills the 
uh, Audacity window, and you can see just the waveform for what I've selected. I can play it and then uh, stop it at any point, or I can play it and wait for it to stop automatically after it reaches the end of the selection. So I just uh, cut it off earlier there because it's quite a big selection. What we might want to do also is make a smaller one, in which case uh, select a new area and click the same button, fit selection to width. And now we've uh, highlighted just uh, six words that are spoken in this recording. For now, though, I just want to show my entire uh, audio recording so we can move on to the next part. And to do that easily, rather than multiple, uh, rather than clicking on zoom out multiple times, we can actually just click uh, fit project to width. This button here will automatically zoom us out so that we can see our entire project uh, along the width of the Audacity window.